with the discussion of the conservation of nature, global warming, global cooling, climate change, and the basic question of, how's the weather today? A lot of emphasis has been placed on what mankind should do to protect the environment. This comes also due to the constant bombardment of news and media propagating this concept, not to mention the advertising and marketing of corporations. Oftentimes in what is the practice of quotations, greenwashing, which is when a commodity claims to be environmentally friendly when it really isn't. There are also multiple instances of politicians and celebrities telling and or actively working against everyday people to change their ways or else. Meanwhile, they personally fly private jets and helicopters, which exposes them as hypocrites. As Christians, there comes a point where one should be asking, should I care about what happens on this earth, in spite of what others say? Which we can do a brief study on. Let's turn to the Word of God. Genesis 1 verses 27 to 28. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Before the fall, on the sixth day of creation, God gave man instructions, replenish the earth and subdue it. To replenish it is to renew and not to leave nature desolate after you have used it for your purposes and to subdue it is to overcome the natural elements that may cause harm for survival. This command, which was also given to Noah after God flooded the earth, is present for us today, and we should not take away from this world that which we cannot repair. Let's read another passage. Psalm 8 verses 4 to 9. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man, that thou visitest him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. We have been given dominion over the works of God, even the beasts of the field. Noah was also granted to eat all animals, as all things God has made are clean. We have a responsibility given by God to take care of the creatures that God has made, and to know that they are a part of his creation. We are permitted to eat animals for sustenance, as 1 Timothy 4 shows that the commandment to abstain from meats is of the doctrines of devils. Although we should not neglect these animals, abuse them, or slaughter them in cruel and inhumane ways. We should also consider that Revelation 11 verse 18 shows that in the end God judges the nations by destroying them who were destroying the earth. So the disregard for creation is something God has a hatred for. Ultimately, we should consider the beautiful planet that God has made and try to take care of it as best as we can. Life on this planet may not be permanent but let's take the time to enjoy and even conserve what God made in the beginning.